Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today, we're gonna be unbagging our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and Ipsy Glam Bag monthly subscription. I'm gonna share with you everything that I received. We're gonna get unready and ready together. I know I said it. We're gonna wash our face because there's like facial cleanser. There's some skincare in here. And then we're gonna get ready again because there's like makeup products in here as well. So I'm really excited to share with you everything that I received. And in case you haven't heard of Ipsy, it is a beauty monthly subscription. They have subscriptions as low as $13 that you can cancel, skip. You get free US shipping a cute little bag and you receive five sample size products sent to you every month and there's always a theme which I personally really love. They also have a monthly subscription that is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus that runs for $28. You receive five full size products. You can cancel, skip a month, you get free US shipping which makes it super convenient and a cute little duster bag that you can reuse for your delicates. You can give away. You can store stuff with it. I absolutely love these bags you guys. It's so cute. So I hope you guys enjoy. Everything I talk about in today's video will be listed down below in the description box. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, Ipsy, for sponsoring today's video. And let's jump on in and get unready and ready for the day. So starting off on our handy dandy postcard, this is basically our theme. It says here, show your true colors. And it says here, summer's coming in hot. Turn up the heat with bold styles and vibrant shades that show what makes you one of a kind. After all, there's no hue as unique as you. As corny as that sounds, I absolutely love it. It's so cute. And basically inside the little card, it has like information on this one's theme, tips on how to basically summer state of mind. And I absolutely love it. I think it's really, really cute. I feel like it matches with my top. The first product that I have here, it is the brand called, I think it's called Dew of the Gods. And this is a Frosé Mini Iced Rosé Body Scrub. I've never tried a body scrub from what I remember. I'm assuming this is something that you can do to like make your skin feel really nice and smooth and exfoliate everything. Um, yeah, I've never tried anything like this. So I'll let you guys know how I end up really liking it. I love the fact that it's like mini, like if you want to travel with it, this is cool. And it also feels like it has like a little Ziploc little thingamajig so you don't have to use it all. So I'll let you guys know how I end up really liking it. I'm excited to, to test this out. The next product that I have here, it is a mini baby mascara and this is the Tarte Man Eater. You guys are here on my channel. I'm really particular when it comes to mascara. So unfortunately I will not be using this for today's video. And by the way, I'm not a huge fan of wands like this. I like something a little bit more fluffy, a little bit more voluminous, but I know that this mascara is really, really popular, but I'll definitely give this away to someone who will end up really loving it. Facial cleanse. Cleanser. You guys know I love a good facial cleanser and this is from the brand called Bad Habit and it says here wake things up matcha mint morning cleanser. Oh my god you guys I have no idea. I love matcha and I love mint so I feel like I'm gonna end up really loving the scent and let's see if it's the color green. Oh my god it's the color green. I love that. That's like my favorite color <laughs> and let's see what it smells like. Oh my god, it smells so good. It literally smells like the best mix of matcha and mint. So I'm really excited to test that. We'll definitely use it when we wash our face in a bit. And it says here also you can wash away those 2 a.m. texts, but you should still wash your face, which I think is so cute. And as for the last and final, I think it's like the last and final item. No, there actually is two more products in here. The next product that I have here, it is from Milk Makeup, and this is a Hydro Grip primer. To be honest, you guys, I've never tried this primer before, but I've heard so many great things about it that I've been dying to test this out, but I always forget and I just end up not purchasing it, but we'll definitely use it today. And I love that it is like a good amount that I feel like this will last me like a good amount of time to really test it out for myself and just see what the hype is all about. But I love the fact that it's green, it's super cute. Let's see if it smells like anything. Let's see, okay, there's like a gel-like consistency, so there is no tint to it, but I feel like one pump is more than enough product. Like this will, will be more than enough. Does it have a scent? It has a really nice scent to it, which I personally really love, and it does have like a tacky consistency, so I'm excited for this primer. As for the last and final product that I have here, it's supposed to be mini, but to be honest, this feels full size to me, and this is from the brand called Bella and Argent. I think that's how you pronounce the brand, and this is a tinted lip balm, and I think the shade is called For Wednesdays Pink. So let's open this up, and the package, you guys, is so cute. I love that it's like holographic and purple. And let's see what the shade looks like. Okay, so it's like a little balm. I think this is really cute. Let's see if it has a tint to it at all. And honestly, it doesn't. It has kind of like a really sheer pink tint, but I feel like once I apply it on, you won't really see anything. But it's really nice. I feel like this would be really moisturizing to apply on if I'm going to go to the gym, if I'm going to run around do errands, if I just want to apply on something really moisturizing on my lips, I feel like this will go a long way. And actually, the actual last final product that I have here, it is like a little mini USB. I guess you can like 
charge it and then you can clip it on to your phone like a little mini ring light. I think this is super, super cute. I love little gadgets like this, especially like if you're traveling or if you're going to go to the fair. You want to have like little things like this so you can like get really creative and have fun. So I really like this. I'm really excited to test this out. So stay tuned. I'll share with you in one of my monthly fave and fails. Now moving on to our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus monthly subscription. And the first product that I have here, it is from the brand called Refreshments. This is called the Dazzling 5 Blade Razor Kit. And this is in the pink bubbly. This retails for $19 and you guys I have received one of the razor kits before and it's so good The razors are really really nice. You get a really nice close shave It's really hydrating and I absolutely love it like it's totally worth it So I'm gonna go and open this one up just to see and I absolutely love the color It's really pink, but I love that it's like rose gold every comes with two razors It comes with a little handle and I think this little gadget is the thing that like you stick to the wall in the bathroom Where you can hang a razor so it doesn't like fall over fall around like in your tub So I'm really excited to test this out because girl I've been needing some razors I'm not even gonna lie the next item that I have here, it is from the brand called Hip Dot. And these are tiny, baby, cute, colorful little baby sponges. I've never used such a small sponge like this before to like do my makeup. So I'm really excited to test these out. They retail for $18 for five sponges. I find that to be really expensive, to be really honest. But I love how colorful it is. It reminds me of like Easter. Like very vibrant, very spring, summer. I'm really excited to test these out and just see what it's all about. But I love the fact that it came in a little Ziploc bag because it's perfect for storage. Like once I clean them, I can stick them in there. I can, they're all in one place. I don't have to worry about them flying all around, especially because I have dogs and I have some cats and I can just only imagine if they got their hands on this. They'll probably eat it. Girl, I don't even want to think about that right now. So I'm really excited to test this out when we do our makeup today. The third product that I have here, it is from the brand called Dr. Z Zeneva? Zeneva? I'm probably saying this wrong. I'm horrible pronunciating pronunciating things. <laughs> and this is Essentials Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Serum. It's supposed to help firm, nourish, plump the skin. And basically you can, wear this, you can try this out day or night or apply it on day or night. That's what I'm trying to say. And it retails for $72. I'm like, holy moly, that's a lot. But I love the packaging. It's like matte, has a nice weight to it. And let's see what it smells or looks like. Okay. So it has like a gel-like consistency. It does have kind of like a bluish green undertone and literally with one pump, it is more than enough. Like that's a lot of product. Let's see what it smells like. And it doesn't really have a scent to it, to be really honest. Yeah, it has like a slight scent, but I can't describe the scent. Like it smells, it just smells clean. So I'm really excited to test this out. I'll let you guys know once we are prepping our skin for the day. And then the next product that I have here, and it's the Dr. Brandt Triple Action Face Cream. And this retails for $64. And to be honest, the last product that I tried from Dr. Brandt, I ended up really loving it. It was one of their, I think, what, Triple Action eye cream and it was really moisturizing so I'm really excited to test this out. Let's see if it has a scent to it and what the consistency is like and it definitely feels gel-like and it feels really lightweight and I prefer more gel-like consistency like type of moisturizers just because I do have combination oily skin. Let's see if it has a scent and to be honest it does have like a slight scent but it's so light that you barely even notice it so I really really like it and it's really fast drying so I really love that so it makes the process of getting ready so much faster. I think I'm losing count right now. I think we're on the fourth product and the next product is the Ciate Lunday Cranberry. This is a nine piece eyeshadow palette. This retails for $22 and I love receiving eyeshadow palettes you guys. Sometimes like a hit and miss but most of the time they end up being really really nice eyeshadow palettes or blush palettes and this is basically it. I'm not gonna lie this reminds me so much of like the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes like the color story and some of them are like swirly. I don't know something about it just giving me give me Huda Beauty vibes but I'm really excited to test this out will definitely create a really cute look the last final product that I have here it is from the brand called La Russe, and this is the LR105 short shadow brush and I love receiving brushes you guys I think that's probably why I have so many <laughs> because I love receiving them I mean they're so expensive this literally retails for $20 for one 
brush. I can't believe it, but I'm really excited for brushes like this just because I've been using them lately. A small little diesel brush to apply a little bit of shimmer, clean out the edges. It goes such a long way and I absolutely love it. It feels really nice and soft, so we'll definitely find a way to use it when we are getting ready today. So the first product we're going to go ahead and dive on into trying out it is the Bad Habit Wake Things Up Matcha Mint Morning Cleanser. Oh my god, I'm super excited for this. It smells delicious. I'm hoping that it's going to give me a nice refreshing feeling on the skin to wake me up. And just wish wish me like you guys wish me luck when it comes to this facial cleanser I hope it removes everything that I've applied on and the next clip You'll see me bare face and we'll dive on into applying on our skincare I just finished washing my face with our matcha mint facial cleanser and let me tell you It has like a clay like consistency. It definitely felt really minty. I love the scent to it It smells so good, but to be honest, it wasn't giving me the suds It did break down my makeup, but I did notice that I had to go in and use a lot of this product to really like cleanse my face um, so that is the only thing do I love it no not that much that I would say I would go run and buy it but I love the fact that it made my skin feel really nice and tight that I love the scent to it that I don't feel like it's like over dried my skin and I'm even though I did use a lot of product, I do like the fact that it did remove and break down the makeup that I've applied on throughout the day. So I like it, just don't absolutely love it. So now we're gonna move on into the next product that I really wanna apply on. I wanna apply on something on my lips and this is the Bella and Argent. This is for Wednesday's Pink. This is the Tinted Lip Balm. And I'm just gonna go and apply a little bit on my lips just to give a little bit of that moisture. And to be honest, it's like barely any tint to it. So I figured this can be like a morning or like nighttime type of like balm that I can apply on my lips because it does feel really moisturizing and so far I really like it. As for a scent, it doesn't have a scent to it so it just feels really moisturizing like something that I would apply as my skincare routine. <laughs> for a skincare, we're actually going to go into the Dr. Zen Zenovia. I think that's pronounced. This is a hyaluronic acid peptide serum. I'm going to go in and apply on a pump on the back of my hand and I've already applied on a pump. I'm just going to go ahead and mix it together and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it into the skin. It, honestly it has a really nice tacky consistency to it. It doesn't have any scent to it. It dries down really quickly like my skin feels tacky but I don't feel like I have anything on my skin to be really honest. So so far so good. I'm excited to continue testing this out. We're gonna go ahead and also apply on the Dr. Brand and this is the Triple Antioxidant Face Cream. This has like a jelly consistency and you can apply this day or night. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit on so we can test it out. And I'm just gonna do like a little dance. Maybe that's a little too much. I was gonna say a dime size, but I feel like that's probably a little more. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and mix together between my hands, and then I'm just gonna go in and pat it into the skin. My skin feels really nice and hydrated in the best way. Love that face cream, you guys. I'm really excited to continue testing it out. So even though I've applied on this face cream, my skin still feels tacky. So that serum is like really strong, but it feels really hydrating. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. And I feel like it was really easy to apply on. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on into our Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I'm really excited to test that. I think I'm just gonna apply on one pump of this primer on my skin and I think I'm gonna do the same thing that I did earlier I'm just gonna go ahead and press it into the skin all right you guys so I just finished applying my foundation I quickly did my brows and now we're gonna go in and apply on a little bit of concealer and we're gonna use our little hip dot little baby sponge to put on our concealer but I want to mention that that hydro grip primer wow you guys like Wow, literally made my foundation apply on so nicely, gave me the best coverage. It was so easy to blend out my makeup. I don't know, my skin is looking really, really good and I'm pretty sure it's that primer. <laughs> Maybe it's the other skincare products we applied on too. Who knows, but I am so far really blown away and I'm really excited to continue testing it out. So stay tuned for one of my monthly Faith and Feels. So I'm just gonna go in and apply on, this is the ELF 16 Hour Camo Concealer Matte Finish and this is shade Medium Warm. I'm just gonna go and apply it in the corner tear duct of the eye, on the center of the corner of the eye, chin down the bridge of the nose and a forehead. And I'm just gonna go in with my little sponge which I've already lightly dampened and I'm just gonna go in 
and blend out this concealer. So after blending out my concealer, I set everything into place, pat on powder, banana powder, bronze up my face, and let me tell you, I absolutely love this cute little sponge. It really did a really great job to get really close to those little small areas to blend out my concealer, and I absolutely love it. It's a really nice little detailed sponge, and I could definitely see myself using them again, and I'm really happy that I got to try them out because... Honestly, I don't think I would have picked this up on my own. <laughs> so let's move on to our eyeshadow palette, the Ciate London Cranberry Eyeshadow Palette. Here it is, so pretty. I'm definitely gonna go into this really pretty like beige, kind of has like a pinky undertone shadow here in the corner top of the palette. And I'm gonna go in with my shadow brush. I've already primed my eyes, by the way, with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm just gonna go in, pick up a little bit of that shadow, and I'm hoping it's not too tinted. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly apply this all around the lid. So honestly, it didn't take very much for me to notice that there's a lot of fallout when it comes to these eyeshadows. And I'm noticing a little bit of patchiness when I'm applying on this base shade. And I'm pretty sure it is not my Juvia's Place I Prep Prime Eyeshadow Primer because it is flawless God always does such a great job on the application. So now I'm just gonna go into another shade so we can test it out. I'm gonna go into this middle center shade here in the palette. It has kind of like a mauve undertone and I'm just going to go and apply it within the crease of the lid using my Morphe brush and I'm going to do windshield wiper motion. And now with my MOTD shader brush, I'm going to go into, it's called a pop, this really pretty dark, kind of like has like a purpley undertone eyeshadow. I'm going to go in and lightly apply it in the lash line area, building the pigmentation and blending it into the crease of the lid and I'm gonna use my finger I'm gonna go into this really deep cranberry shade and I just love how shimmery it is I'm just gonna go and apply it on the center of the lid to give a little bit more of a an effect to the look so I applied on liner and applied on blush and I literally forgot to smoke at the bottom lash line so we're gonna go in with my real techniques brush I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that dark shadow that we applied on the corner of the eye and I'm just gonna go and apply it on the lower lash line blending it in to the upper lash and for liner I did the same exact thing applied it in the inner lining of the eye that really dark purpley shadow and then with my blending brush that we used earlier with whatever is on it I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the edges where I've smoked out the bottom lash line. All right, you guys, this is basically it. I have finished getting ready. What do you guys think of today's makeup look? I absolutely love how my eyeshadow turned out. The Ciate London eyeshadow palette is really, really nice, you guys. There is a little bit of fallout, so that is the only thing. I'm not a fa fan of that, but overall, my eyeshadows blended really nicely. I love the undertones at first. I was a little worried that's going to look a little patchy, but nonetheless, everything turned out really really nicely and I'll continue testing out this palette so stay tuned but as for the little hip dot sponges so happy that I received them I think they're super cute again this is not something that I feel like I would have like purchased myself but I'm really happy that I got to try it out because my concealer blended out really nicely and I was able to get to the little small little areas around the eyes especially around the nose so really happy I got to test them out same thing with the hydro grip primer you guys like wow I feel like my skin looks so nice my foundation blended really nicely really quickly and it just gave me the best coverage like I have noticed that I used a lot less foundation for some reason same thing with the concealer I don't know what it is I'll continue testing it out but girl I am so blown away by it I'm so excited and I can't wait to try it out same thing with the skincare products I'll continue testing them out so far everything was really lightweight I feel like it absorbed really quickly on to my skin same thing with the facial cleanser even though I wasn't a huge fan I'll continue testing it out because you know I received it for this monthly subscription but let me tell you our ipsy glam bag plus monthly subscription for this month totaled to 220 dollars I feel like that's such a great steal considering to subscribe to the monthly subscription only cost $20 and you get free shipping and you also get be, are able to skip a month in case you just want a little break but I absolutely love what I received you know to be honest at first when I looked at everything that I got for this month I just wasn't very excited but now once I tried everything out I'm like super excited I can't wait to continue testing everything out so this is basically it, you guys I hope you enjoyed it today's video please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any questions comment down below ask away I'm always here to help and as as always I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much bye